Hey y'all, it's all of Destiny. Today's video is a little bit of maintenance and self-care. My braids, wash day routine, how I cleanse my scalp, get rid of all the product buildup and the sweat. Sharing some of my current favorite products. A do-it-yourself at home gel pedicure, start to finish. And after that, we're going outside. Let's go ahead and get into it's the time living. Money and pretty women. Baddest bras in the city. That's all I'm here. That's the time living. Money and pretty women. Hundreds and fifty. That's all I'm put a blow dry to it um because it's not like dripping wet anyway what's up with destiny probably already talked about the importance well to me reasons for why i would want to wash my braids um in between just wearing them and not doing it so with me i, I had stopped showing these products for a while because you can't get them over a counter like when you talk to a professional the professional will diagnose and kind of look into it to see what you need i stopped showing it but for the sake of knowing it's got a hole in the bottom what I use and for whatever reason whenever I show products sometimes people like recommend other things but I get it so I basically put this ointment on my scalp I know you're probably gonna say you just washed it and you put some more stuff on it yes <laughs> just to get like the sweat and all of that out and I try to get it on the parts and this just keeps my hair from getting overly flaky I'm trying to be careful I bump this finger like really bad I'm getting ready ow did it again getting ready to clip them off i was gonna do a fill in but once i start bumping them and then they lift in the back and all of that it's no point i'm gonna take my edge control the even no it's not even it's the one that's downstairs uh very cherry i'm really not supposed to use scented products in my hair at all with me having psoriasis but it's not that bad 
Like, if you're new to my channel, you don't know how bad my scalp used to look. That's why when people still, to this day, recommend that I try, like, natural products, natural remedies, it's like they got to be new here. I don't think they saw all the trial runs of us trying this together, trying that together. And now that I have a dermatologist that has helped my scalp look better than it ever has in the past, I dare not skip my appointments to go back to being a guinea, a guinea pig on myself again. And I kind of like the look of over time when the edges start coming out of the braids, just for, especially when you have them straight back, it just makes it, to me, look really good and put together. Um, but it's all preference, whatever you like on yourself and for yourself. All right, so after I lay the edges, take the lot of body foaming mousse, Um, you don't have to re-dip the hair because it's already been dipped. I don't put anything over all of this. It's not my hair anyway. I go down as far as just laying my hair. But if you want to, I'll just kind of grab right in this area right here as well. Just kind of lay that. Same thing with this side. And I'll check everything off camera um, if anything needs to be fixed further. But just to give y'all a gist on camera of what it's given. This little mirror is from Dollar Tree because I know y'all gonna ask. I always, whenever I'm wearing braids, I like to give me a good hair oil and really kind of, not every day to where you just creating a bunch of buildup, um, but I like to use an oil on my hair. I've been using this one for a good while now, as you all can see. The way my hair is like, you know, strengthened and not like overly dry as I'm wearing braids. So just want to run a little bit down the part. Mute the rest of this. Hello. I need to tie it down but my hair scarf is downstairs so I'm just gonna put the scarf on I would just leave the scarf on until something different happens in the day and that is how you can wash and refresh your braids in between taking the option of just taking them down so yeah this is a few hours later for the girlies that like to wash their braids like me or if you just have a scalp condition to where you have a recommended amount of time to go in between your washes. See that my scalp looks really good. I was actually getting ready to head out to step class. So I'm really about to go and sweat my hair out again. But nevertheless, my edges are clean now. My scalp is clean now. And that is how I wash and refresh my braids. So now we're going to get into doing my own gel pedicure at home. So first I start off by putting down this little nail art towel. They call it a towel on Amazon, but I look at it as like a little catch-all. It is waterproof. Um, you get 125 of these. So if you do your own nails and pedicures at home, this comes in handy. You can't reach your feet because I do get that question a lot. You can order this product right here to bring your feet closer to you. It's going to be linked in my Amazon storefront. So the very first thing I like to do is trim down the nails. This drill was a gift. Sorry if you watch all of my nail videos and you hear me say that every time. New people find new videos all the time. But the nail bits are by McCart. So I'm just going to use one of the bits to remove the gel. If you have regular nail polish, then you can just use 100% acetone to remove yours. You could also soak off the gel, but quicker for me, I have to go ahead and do my pedicures while I'm in the mood. I just like to use the drill. And you will notice that on purpose, I kind of don't take off all of the gel. Um, especially if I know I'm just going to do white again. My focus is to get a majority of it off and then we can just keep it pushing, to be honest. <laughs> uh, I didn't do this French pedicure. I actually went and got that one done. So after removing a majority of the gel, I take this 100, 180 grit hand foul. So the nail shape that I like is curved at the corners, but straight along the edges at the tip, if that makes sense. And then I like to take this tool to remove that dead skin next to the side of my big toe. And you'll see me using this a lot. It's the Jenna Pettiseptic. It's a foot spray, basically. It has eucalyptus and tea tree oil. It's for cleansing, cooling, and refreshing the feet. So even after a long, tired day at work and you just want to kind of miss this over the feet, you can do that. But for the purpose of the pedicure, I use this to remove the nail dust with the cotton pad. 
to the water i'll be adding some epsom salt and this foot soak not too much because the bubbles go crazy this foot soak by jenna i basically have if y'all see it behind me the whole little kit um i'll link it down below if you want to test it out and get the smaller sample bottles of it first then i'll link like the small size and then the full size if you know for sure that you want to be doing your own pedicures at home this right here this foot file listen if you don't order anything else you need this foot file even if you don't do your own pedicures and you want that soft heels maintenance in between going to the nail salon get that keep it in your shower so the green side is a little more coarse than the pink side the pink side i use after i've used the green side or if my feet are kind of already soft and i just want to lightly touch them up i'm telling you Fall is approaching, but the feet are still out. The heels are still out, and it's very much giving soft heels, baby. You need that foot foul. Thank me later. No cracked heels over here, baby. Being well-rounded is very important to me. And I'm going to talk about other things instead of just narrating the whole time about the pedicure because I just really like to chat with you all. But sometimes, don't get me wrong, I do love to go and sit back, relax, and I'm not always in the mood to do my own pedicure. But... As much as I like to treat myself, I also am the type of person who likes to invest in myself as well. So purchasing your own pedicure products, for one, it's more sanitary. And then I like to take this exfoliating scrub and I'm going to massage this on the lower portion of the leg and, the, and then also the foot. And the reason I like to take the products up a little bit on the legs is kind of giving nail salon vibes at home. So treat yourself, do all the fancy things. Look at this as like... You went to the nail salon and you're getting one of the deluxe packages. So yeah, don't get me wrong. Sometimes I am in the mood to pay for convenience and also experience. You have to be well-rounded. That's called balance. <laughs> but other times I do like to save $100 and do it myself because, I mean, let's be honest. It's not like I do a bad job. So I went ahead and wet a towel because... You can also get those pedicure in a box kits from Amazon, the exact same ones that they use at the nail salon. I snuck a picture of it once and I found it on Amazon, yeah. So that's just one of the masks that I had left in one of those kits and I decided to just kind of put that on. I got me a little towel, I'm gonna wrap it around like they do at the nail salon. Y'all know when they slap the legs? <laughs> yeah, if you never had them do that step doing your pedicure, that's the reason I did that because every time I go, that's how they do my legs, like pop, pop, pop. And it looks crazy, but when I say it feels so good in that moment. So the next step is choosing your base polish, your color of choice, and then the top coat, whether that be gel or regular nail polish. I'm gonna spray on some more of that petty septic and just remove any of the oils from my nails. That way the polish goes on very smooth. Then I'm going to take this foot treatment. I am massaging this on before, only because I was filming. Normally I put it on afterwards, but I ain't want my feet to look, you know, not put together for the rest of the video. Look at the glow. Tell me what y'all think about the glow. Like I said, I'm mentioning what I can. And then other things, y'all gotta wait maybe a little later. If you catch what I'm saying, then you catch what I'm feeling. You catch what it's giving. Yeah. <laughs> Ratchet Destiny said, hey. Don't sleep on Dollar Tree either. That's where I got these pedicure flip flops. Yeah, get it to it. Ooh, come on. Come on, pedicure at home. I will not be linking this nail polish. I got this from Amazon. I'm such a if it ain't broke, don't fix it kind of girl. But then the YouTuber side of me not even side of me sometimes i do that for y'all it be giving girl you always use that polish let me use a different brand let me put the girlies on this is not putting y'all on i've tr attempted to give this product a chance three times i think you're supposed to wipe the tacky layer off i'm not used to wiping off the tacky layer in between and i think that was my mistake because my layers were thin sometimes if your gel is too thick it'll mess up on you look at that what is that why is it doing that Bruh. This is why I don't use this Amazon polish. Put this in the trash. I'm gonna take Beyonce off because you know you love Beyonce and Jasmine Sullivan. Give me three other ones. Yeah, no. <laughs> so I'm gonna go for what I know, what I was about to reach for at first anyway. Now I gotta do all of this extra cleanup. Okay, calm down. Madam Glam and OPI. Yes. Skipped over showing y'all the exact same steps again, but you want to do a thin layer of your base coat, two coats of your color of choice, and then you want to do your top coat. Repeat that, whether it's giving regular nail polish or gel polish, those are the steps. Sometimes you can do three if you really want to make sure that it's opaque. And then I finish off with the OPI no wipe top coat. Slap on some cuticle oil, your lotion, the glow, all of that. And the gold of my hood, they know my body is good. 
Two million dollars to party inside of your baby clubs. Popping them things to go up and smoking Los Angeles blood. These bitches biting like Joe. Shout out to Kimbler though. I'm the one who won this 50 with they armed and vicious Accusations on them blogs and they all fictitious I done bent the realest blocks, pushed the hardest sixes Keep a couple killers that don't care how far them licks is Look like they want action, heard they want action, bitch, we ain't done. Hey y'all, it's all of Destiny, so today is Friday. So today is um, Friday night, which is <laughs> I'm getting bigger than this. Uh, the 25th. So me and my cousin Joe, we're about to go bowling. I didn't even vlog, my cousin came over and stayed like three or four nights with us. He lives in LA now, he's been in LA, in LA for a good couple of years now. Um, But yeah, we're about to bowl, because I think he's leaving towards like the end of the month so we finna link up we finna bowl i like it here and my mom yeah, here no i'm finna beat them <laughs> Cause it's pretty lit. It's it fun. Is. Look it's at the lights cute. and stuff. It's, it's real cute. cute. Look at it. Like it's giving what it's supposed to give. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Okay. We gonna call y'all back. We gonna turn up a little bit. I like the Barbie. I'm a dog, but I still wanna party. Pink felt like I'm ready to bend. I'm a ten, so I pull in a can. Like Jazzy, stay so pink. All of the Barbies is pretty. Yeah, all of the bodies is bad. It's the girls, and we can play tag. Red, but he spank me when I get bad. I'm in LA, Voltaire Drive. I'm in New York, Madison Ave. I'm a Barbie girl. Pink Barbie dream house. The way it can be killing I'm yelling out like the scream house. If you're yelling out, we ain't selling out. We got money, but we ain't lending out. We got bars, but we ain't billing out. And that pink Ferrari, we pillin' out. I told Tay, bring the vibe, billin' out. The hoop's so cold, we just chillin' out. Let's go, let's It's garbage, bitch, if you still in doubt. Let's to be hanging out with my folks. Yeah, I'm so happy right now. Listen, hang out with your family. Love all your family. Call your family. I'm gonna do better. I have to apologize to my folks because I don't usually call all the time or whatever, but after me being home this summer and spending time with my people, I'm gonna do better. So if you know that you need to do better, 
do better because you only got one family. Oh, oh, oh. Where's the blue? Red. It's almost daytime down there. It's wow. almost daytime. I'm screaming. Hey, y'all. I'm so happy right now. I had such a phenomenal night with my cousin. Ooh, I look spun on. Y'all see that, that glisten right there? The glisten, I'm trying to, the glow. The glisten, but I, I'm so happy, y'all. I had a phenomenal night with my family. And yeah, y'all, like I said earlier, hopefully you edited it in. What you want me but to edit in? I, I, it was something else that I said. It was just very oh, awesome. I was gone. Yeah, when you was okay. gone. But... <laughs> Hang out with your family, y'all. Love on your family. Right. Call, check in. We're going to do better over here. Yeah, get into it. Get into I'm going to plug my cousin. I know y'all probably Link, already Link. follow him on TikTok. <laughs> Link, what's your favorite uh, dance move that you like to do? Getting sturdy. <laughs> Hold on, not you can do it. Not Joe so with busy. the good knees. <laughs> oh my God, I don't know. Too. What's up, boss? Uh, Cindy, I bet you can't. Oh, hey, get it. I, oh, he doing the, the spin around. See, uh -uh. Give me the second leg and walk it out. Oh, my goodness. See, y'all kids, y'all TikTokers nowadays, y'all have y'all got all these full routines. I know. We ain't for that. We for the, we look, my generation, we had the chicken head, heel toe, yeah. lean with a rock with it, teach Ooh. me how to dug it, a pancake Ooh. with the heel toe. Okay. The crybaby. Oh, I forgot. I know y'all remember the uh, y'all follow my cousin on TikTok. Yes. He be doing his Thomas thing. Y'all better act like y'all know. I know that's right. Hot Joe Thomas Carter. Yeah. You know, I'm just being fancy right now. <laughs> it's so hot. Are y'all sweating already? I am. It's like a hundred and five. Yeah. We're going to call y'all back. See that sweat? It's still in the hundreds. Well, it was today. It was a high of 100 today. Cannot make this no, up. No, it was 103 today. That's crazy. And I normally don't even need my fan at nighttime. Y'all know I keep my fan on me. God, it's hot. I had so much fun tonight. We are standing for the day, baby. Come my, my way, baby. Top down on the highway, baby. If you let me love you, boy. Shorty, she ain't even got a visa. Out of town one night teaser. Need to tell them other niggas sees us. I'm falling, but everyone falls. Even though for the first time, the first time I see you love, you got me, baby. Even though, girl, I know that I will fall for you. You got to know that everyone falls. Oops, I done fell too deep, baby. Oops, I think you got me, baby. Oops, I want you for me, baby. I'm falling, but I was on the phone, so most likely I went ahead and muted all of that. I had so much fun tonight. <laughs> um, my cousin basically wanted to get everybody together. I think I was telling y'all before I walked in, 
I should have vlogged when he was here. It was like a few weeks ago when he came over for a few days. We really just hung out. It was just kind of giving like, when I haven't seen a person in a minute, well, he was in my mom's party. Y'all know what I need to do? I need to get that footage finished. It's just on my SD card and I haven't given it to my mom yet. Her surprise party that we threw for her. That was July the 9th. So, yeah. Um, my cousin he came over but for me it's like when I haven't spent time with the person how do I word that I want to spend time with them so it don't be given like grab the camera and document us spending time together so I wanted to take y'all with this bowling since I didn't film when he was here anywho y'all know how I get when I'm tired and ready to go to bed I start rambling so but yeah it was fun I always came in first I had 107 points and hopefully I can keep the audio the music whenever they're playing music it's kind of hard to Keep it but I'm gonna go ahead and get set up for bed. I have an event tomorrow. It's like an influencer night type of event. So I'm gonna take y'all with me to that from seven to nine. We'll probably conclude right there with the vlog. That's just how I'm living.